welcome back to Saber Rick Studios. My name is Jeremy. If this is your first time here, guys, this is the Battle of Endor mock series. This is episode number six. If you guys have not seen episode number five, please go check it out right now. And of course, the playlist will be linked down below as well. Anyways, guys, this week, there's a lot of things to tell you about and a lot of things that have changed with the actual layout. And of course, one thing you'll probably notice if this is your first time watching that these trees are fully built now. So let's get right into this week. So number one guys you guys can probably tell that the layout has actually changed what we've decided to do is actually move the landing pad before it was on these two gray uh green base plates here but we actually decided to kind of tilt it that way uh we just felt that it was blocking too much of the mock and now you're able to see almost all of this terrain and area before it and you're still able to see the landing pad which yes, has some Duplo supports on it right now, just because we wanna make sure it doesn't fall over. We're still working on the actual pad design. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Also guys, we actually are going to have two AT-ATs in this mock, most likely. Uh, that is the 2014 one. I do have a 2021, one of the newer ones. Uh, that will be in this mock is actually being rebuilt right now because it broke but yeah uh like i said guys the terrain has also changed a little bit there's a few things i need to update you guys with with the actual terrain portion of this and show you some things that i built but a lot of this has been redesigned we've actually decided to completely cut the idea to have a lake and creek over there and we're just going to simply make it more greenery and have more kind of battle scene areas and stuff like that we're even going to be expanding probably some of this hill portion onto that base plate but like I said in the earlier part of this video, guys, the most important change for this is that the trees are actually 100% done. So I'm going to show you each of these guys' trees up close right now. So here is tree number one here, guys. This is definitely, I think, the shortest one, but I really, really love the kind of details here. You can tell that my brother Joseph used a lot of nougat and kind of reddish brown, some dark brown, as well as some tan, actually, uh, to kind of make this tree pop. Of course, this is not the final location of the tree, but this is just where we have it right now. Tree number two is definitely the tallest. Uh, it has a very, very thin kind of uh, structure. It's only six studs wide on each side. This one actually is a one that we use in other mocks. We kind of modified it. And if you guys can tell, there's a speeder bike kind of crashed in there. That's definitely really, really a fun detail that we wanted to add in. We had it in the original mock, but we're glad to have it back. And I think this tree looks absolutely fantastic. This one's definitely going to go somewhere in this kind of general area. And it really makes it look like Endor when you have the trees kind of up and together. Of course, we have to still kind of set up everything the way we need to. The next tree is my brother Joseph's personal favorite. It is a little bit kind of wonky right now, but this is the kind of sniper tree nest. Uh, we want to have this in this general sort of area here. Uh, just because it has like a, a sniper nest, we can have a few Endor stormtroopers kind of taking some shots at Ewoks. Or vice versa, have Ewoks taking some shots at the Empire. But yeah, I absolutely love how this tree looks. Uh, this one did not change as much as the other ones, but this is definitely a really, really cool area to have it in. Of course, this blue base plate and stuff like that's gonna be covered up, so don't worry about that. The next tree we have is definitely one of the newer ones. This one's, again, a very bulky one. A lot of really cool reddish brown, tan, and uh, nougat colors here, as well as some dark green, actually. I really love how this tree looks, having the kind of foliage on it. it makes it look fantastic. We're going for a very kind of rugged tree design, uh, very tall, very narrow, because um, I think it matches the actual vibe of Endor. And the last, but certainly not the least tree, is a kind of snot tree. Brother Joseph used a lot of snot techniques on this side, uh, studs, not on top. They kind of have these pieces kind of stuck in here. It's a little hard to tell with the lighting. But this one definitely used a lot of really interesting colors here. I really like how this looks. And like I said, guys, we're not exactly sure where the final placement of the actual trees are going to be, but we're going to get to that. So those are the trees, guys. That is definitely probably one of the most important steps for us was getting those done. That took a long time to kind of do that. Um, my brother Joseph kind of spearheaded that effort. But one thing you guys will also notice that the actual base has actually moved. It was originally right about here. And like we said earlier, guys, we actually decided to move the landing pad this way. Of course, it doesn't have the actual pad on it right now. Uh, but we did build some other things I will show you guys in a second. That's where the base is going to be, guys. We're not going to be working on the base until probably winter of this year because we're going off to college uh, this semester. So we're not really going to be around to work on Endor the entire fall, basically. But yeah, guys, don't worry. Endor is not going to be disappearing. It's just going to have some kind of off times where we're not going to be home to be able to work on this project because it is absolutely massive. We can't transport it anywhere right now. 
But yeah, guys, in other words, in terms of schematics here on this mock, I definitely really like how this layout looks a lot better. It's going to be a lot easier to see everything. Uh, we really didn't want the landing pad to completely block like half of the mock because we do intend to bring these, uh, this mock, I should say, to a potential brick world or just have it set up and displayed a lot. So we wanted to make sure that the bunker was really, really front and center where the battlefield is right here. Of course, this terrain is really messy because it's not really where it's supposed to be right now. Uh, but I will work on that probably in the next week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that next episode. But yeah, guys, that is going to do it for episode number six. Um, I apologize for the kind of scattered updates. They're all going to be coming out on Mondays. Um, but again, there's going to be a temporary pause in this mock series probably till winter. Uh, of this year which is unfortunate but that's just kind of me going away to college and Joseph as well going away to college but this mock is going to be a continuous project here on my YouTube channel so make sure you guys stay tuned for them um, there's going to be other videos I'm going to be able to film at college particularly stop motion films so that is going to be kind of the priority we're going to be shifting gears there's going to be one more upload for Endor until it's kind of pushed away so like I said guys make sure you guys drop a like subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys 